Look at that linesman doing his job, Kerry. Well, Manny Mahoker came in there a little late. So Brad Stovitz was uh, a little upset with the, the back door he got. Well, it was Edler, but Kerry, I mean, what do you what do you do in a situation? You, you got to take notes, right? I mean, how, how are you taking notes right now when you're watching this? There with a pretty good shot on Stovitz. I couldn't see who it was. Oh, he's oh. in the fans. Oh, he's got the fans now. Wow, that's, I mean, that's going to be sus probably suspendable right there. Oh, you, when you when you start mixing it up with the fans, that's when it's going to get ugly. And was that Rippin that got that went in there? Yeah, it was Rippin. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's not something that, it's one thing to make gestures and everything, and you even get suspended for that these days, we're fined. You have to worry about it. Corey Perry gets his own rebound, and oh, he got hit hard behind the net by Seabrook. Carter kept the puck alive. Perry lost his stick, gets up, goes back and gets it. Now it's Keith turning, nearly turned it over off the back of the net and a penalty coming up to Wisniewski. As he ran Seabrook, Keith jumps into his aid and Wisniewski starts hammering away on him. And Seabrook looked like he was not expecting the hit by James Wisniewski. He got rocked. Well, Wisniewski was answering for the hit by Seabrook on Perry from about 10, 15 seconds before that. And he ended up getting a big piece of Seabrook and then he got a lot of Duncan Keith. And here's the hit by Seabrook. It's a high hit to the head of Corey Perry. No call on the play and James Wisniewski didn't like that much. So he took the opportunity to just drill Brent Seabrook. Now is Seabrook selling this? I, I couldn't. Uh, I don't know if he's selling it, John, or if he was injured. The way he got up afterwards, I almost think he was selling it, but I, I'm, I, I'm honestly not sure. There he looks hurt. Goodness, here comes Jokinen in front, all alone, and Tatar coming back. Terrific play on Aginla, who's got it again, and Howard will hold on to that. And Stewart's down. He's hurt. Ooh. There's blood on the ice, and Brad Stewart took a bad hit, Larry, right to the head, and Kostopoulos is in the box for it, but this is a bad hit, Murph. Very vulnerable, playing a bouncing puck. Kostopoulos comes in, you catch him right there, and Stewart gets it right. You can't tell where he was cut, but the shoulder right in the head. Boom. Is that targeted? Well, that's a player that's vulnerable and not in a position to protect themselves. Taken away from Hardikainen, and the Hawks get it in. Nick Letty can go for a change. Oh, man, that's going to that's be a suspension. Danny Carcillo put Gilbert badly into the end boards, and Dan Carcillo is going to have a meeting with Brendan Shanahan. Daniel Carcillo, which you will get penalized for. Unfortunately, he hits Gilbert before Gilbert makes contact with the puck. We still haven't heard whether it's a, uh, a minor, a major. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But as Gilbert goes hard into the boards, he comes back and falls on Carcillo's leg. It's his left knee ends up grabbing. And unfortunately, you can't hit a guy when he hasn't touched the puck yet. Five-minute major to Daniel Carcillo. So has cleared up the boards. Helm kept it in. Bickle, now to Seabrook. His rink wide, deflects, ball and roll to three. Here's going to be a chance for Smith. He, oh, hit right in the head. He tried to elude the checker who hit him right in the head, it looked like, and Smith will draw some attention from the Blackhawks. Brendan Smith was cutting across, trying to get a piece of Ben Smith. And it looked like it was shoulder to head there. Yeah, no question. Is Brendan Smith. All right. Some skirmishing in the corner as the officials. Have, looks as if they're going to take Brendan Smith out of the game. Side and Ryan Hamilton brings it forward. The Oshawa native will just chip it down into the flyer end. Boyce is onto the puck quickly. Hamilton trying to find a loose puck. And Boyce got filled in behind. And now he's going to have to get out of the way as Jay Rose.
Cell is firing punches. Daryl Boyce is cut as he goes to the bench. And it is Rose Hill and Jody Shelley. They're throwing wild punches, but not landing right now. Rose Hill got a few in early. Maybe you got one there. A hit from behind, and Boyce goes straight into the boards. There's going to be a penalty for that, I would think. And Jay Rose Hill standing up for his teammate. And the line's been letting them go. Last year, Rose Hill had a fight with Milan Lucic that went for about a minute 20. And this is well over a minute now. And Rose Hill just told the officials, let us go. Okay. Players are slapping their sticks as it is finally separated. But Jody Shelley is going to get the extra penalty, I would think. He's caught. And Rose Hill got Shelley with a good one, too. And here comes Boyce in. Oh, well, that's just an awful hit. I mean, what is that? Uh, what is that? I mean, the puck is nowhere. The puck is there late and then right into the numbers from behind. And good for Rose Hill to stick up for his teammate immediately. Boyce chips it back. That's just an awful hit. And I believe his... Fox scored first in each of the first two games. Coyotes would then take a one-goal lead before Chicago tied both games late. Jamal Mayers down the left wing. Looks to cut around Morris. Mayers still controlling. Now to Lenny. And host is Hurchill just to your left. Yeah, no, he, right down in front of me. Now they go after Torres. Yeah, Bowling went right after Rafi Torres. It was a it was a hit where Hosa cut to the middle of the ice and didn't see Torres coming. And he hit him, he hit him with a shoulder, but Hosa did not see him coming his way. It was a tremendous body collision, and it was a shoulder hit. Remember last April, it was Torres with that big hit on Seabrook in game three of the Vancouver Chicago first round series. One more look. There it is. Torres on Hosa. And straight down. Let's just hope that. Marion Hosa is going to be okay. And he didn't move much when he was down on the ice. And so they'll take they'll take their time and make sure that he is secure. Oh, stopped in front. Bouncing puck still not recovered. Now picked up by TJ Oshi. Hands it off to Zabotka. Oshi goes down. Maybe there's going to be another penalty. We'll wait and see the shot here. Score! Now, had they blown the whistle, they were letting play continue, but then they thought Oshi was in a really bad situation. So I don't think you're right, Brian. I don't think that shot's going to count. It's going to happen up near the blue line. Oshi is down low right now with the puck. He'll come up high, and there it is. Oh, yeah, wow. That's, that looks like a, a, a shot to the head there because he's, he's taller than Oshi is. Oshie's trying to protect the puck. Here comes Rupp from his blind side. Oh, yeah. yeah. He makes contact. He catches him right on the side of the chin there. And the, the shoulder just went right down. Yeah, the shoulder of Rupp, primary point of contact, appeared on that replay. Yeah. The shoulder to the head.